All right, listen up. In this video, we're diving into when VA ratings become permanent. First things first, what's a permanent rating? The VA calls a disability rating permanent when medical evidence shows it's going to stick around for the rest of the veteran's life. They look at age. They look at age when deciding this because they're assessing the long-term stability of the condition. This often makes it tough for younger veterans to snag a permanent and total ratings or permanent disability ratings. When the VA decides a service-connected disability is permanent, no more re-examinations are needed to check its status. How can a veteran tell their rating is permanent? Unfortunately, there's no crystal clear way to know, but there are some clues. On some rating decisions, there's a checkbox indicating you're permanent in total. Most commonly, eligibility for dependency, educational assistance, Chapter 35 benefits, or CHAMP VA is a giveaway. There will be a clear notification saying you don't need any future examinations. It varies by regional office, so reach out to the VA or your representative if you're unsure. Why is the permanent status of a condition important? It affects whether a new VA examination is scheduled. One surefire way to tell if a condition is permanent is if they decide not to schedule you for a new exam or indicate on your code sheet that future exams won't be scheduled. When can the VA reduce a veteran's rating? For veterans with service-connected disabilities that aren't permanent, future compensation and pension exams might be on the horizon. During these exams, the VA evaluates the severity and adjusts the ratings accordingly. However, a rating reduction can only happen if the VA reviews the veteran's entire medical history, conducts a thorough examination, and finds sustained improvement in the veteran's ability to function in daily life. This improvement must be consistent over time, not just temporary relief. When reducing ratings, the VA must issue a notice of the proposed reduction, giving the veteran 60 days to submit evidence and 30 days to request a hearing. If the reduction doesn't change the actual amount of compensation, the VA doesn't need to give notice. Some rules make it harder for the VA to reduce a rating. For 100% ratings, like for PTSD, the VA can only reduce the rating if there's material improvement in the condition. This improvement must be shown in daily life. If VA exams and evidence don't address the veteran's daily function, the VA will struggle to reduce a 100% rating. If a condition is stabilized, meaning the same rating has been in place for five years or more, the VA can't rely on a single re-examination to reduce your rating. They need multiple pieces of evidence showing sustained improvement. If the VA considers your condition static, meaning it's unchanged or unlikely to change, they won't reduce your rating. You'll often see language in rating decisions stating that a disability is permanent with no likelihood of improvement. If you're over 55, remember there are exceptions. Also, if your rating is the minimum prescribed rating, like tinnitus, it typically doesn't get reduced. There are also protected VA ratings where Congress has determined the VA doesn't need to check on certain conditions. These conditions fall under the protected rating criteria, meaning they can't be reduced or revoked by future VA re-examination. So here are some examples of protected VA ratings. The 10-year rule means that the VA can't sever service connections for veterans rated for a disability for 10 years or more unless there's evidence of fraud. For 20 years or more, service-connected disabilities rated at or above a certain level for 20 years are considered continuous. The VA cannot reduce a continuous rating below the original level unless the rating was based on fraud. Permanent and total disabilities. Veterans with a combined 100% rating or TDY benefits deemed permanently and totally disabled get extra protections. The VA can't reduce your rating without a good reason. But if you file new claims to seek increased ratings, you risk potentially reducing or removing permanent total status. On TDUI, it's not always permanent. The VA can only reduce or revoke TDUI status if they show clear and convincing evidence of employability. They must show that you're actually working, not just capable of working, and that work must be substantially gainful. Situations where veterans return to work on a limited basis may prompt the VA to attempt a reduction, but it's not the same as returning to substantial gainful employment. Keep these factors in mind with your TDY status. Can veterans ask the VA to make their conditions or total ratings permanent? 
Yes, but with the Appeals Modernization Act, it's more complicated. Consult an accredited practitioner or your local veteran service organization to ensure you're on the right path. You need medical evidence, treatment records, and doctor's opinions showing your condition is static or unlikely to improve. Submit the proper evidence and ensure you're applying correctly for this benefit. Remember, anytime the VA schedules a new exam, there's a chance they could reduce your benefits. If you ask for permanent status when you already have it and that triggers a VA exam, you risk unnecessary reductions. Always consider reaching out to a service organization or a credit attorney for assistance. Getting that permanent status is crucial, just as important as knowing what you can claim without evidence. So take advantage of the low-hanging fruit with this next video.